Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another SnowRunner mod development video and today we're taking a look at the latest version of the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, which is a 2021 model. I'm super excited for this guys. So much has been done to it. We're going to go over everything quickly, um, but release is getting close. We just have to do a little bit of XML work and some testing, um, but release is about a week away. We're going to shoot for Friday this week if all goes well. Stay tuned because there is going to be a pre-release video either the day before or the morning of. Um, big shout out to Iceberg. He's got in this just in such a nice state. We've added the uh, front off-road bumper. We've also added um, the TRD Pro rims, some different tires, a, a light bar that he custom made that shows the TRD in it, TRD Pro side steps, um, some new adjustments with the uh, trunk and the supplies and all that stuff that you can buy. Uh, and it, it just looks uh, honestly absolutely incredible. What we see today is far superior than what I envisioned originally at the start and I'm, I'm just super thrilled with it. Again, none of this would be possible without Iceberg. So up in the card above, please make sure you go and drop by and provide him a like and subscribe. Just check out his channel because I know if you do, you're going to want to like and subscribe anyways guys. And do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. We're going to jump into it guys. Alright guys, so a lot has changed with the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Um, we now have the 4.7 liter V8 TRD Pro engine, 3.5 liter V6 stock, and a 4.0 liter V8 upgraded. We're going to go ahead and add the TRD Pro engine. We have the TRD Pro crawler gearbox. This was a brilliant idea that um, Iceberg had. We also have the 6-speed highway, TRD Pro fine-tuned, TRD Pro non-fine-tuned, and 5-speed standard. We're going to add the Pro Crawler. We have RCLT Heavy Duty. I believe this is basically for um, crawling. And it looks pretty cool. We got the Fox Balance Suspension Set TRD Pro and Fox Sport Suspension Set. 38 inch Wrangler ATs, 40 inch Wrangler ATs. And these are on the TRD Pro rims, which just look absolutely amazing. We also have 38 BFGs. 40 BFGs, 38 MT Bajas, 40 MT Bajas, the brilliant pneumatic tires that Iceberg has, 38 Maz 95, 40 Maz 95, and then we have 38 Maz 95 chained, 40 Maz 95 chained, and 38 Wrangler studded. I know some of you guys said studded tires would be great. This uh, tire model was purchased and Iceberg modified it to add the studs and I think they turned out pretty cool. And we also have the 40 Wrangler studded option as well. Um, but the BFGs I've been super excited about, although I'm a sucker for these TRD Pro rims. So we're going to go with this set. We have the Autonomous Scout Extended, Diff Lock and Gauge Wolf Snorkel. We can add the snorkel. The textures are again brilliant. We got some new options back here. This roll bar was custom made by Iceberg and it looks just absolutely amazing. So we're gonna add the roll bar. Now we could add trunk supplies, we could add crates of fuel. Um, the fuel and spare wheel combo has 80 for fuel and one spare wheel. I absolutely love the look of that. Then we can add, we already got the roll bar, or the TRD Pro roll bar. You can have a traditional roll bar without the TRD Pro branding. Uh, pick and shovel, which looks absolutely incredible. A toolbox as well and uh, there's another trunk supply option. The uh, pick and shovel textures are really cool. You could tell that they've been used. Um, and they they strap in extremely well. Rear bumper stock. Alright, so this is something we debated on quite a bit actually. And there is not that many Tacomas that seem to have aftermarket rear bumpers. You don't you just don't see it as often as you do the front bumpers. So for now, we're leaving it default, but we may later on add a custom rear bumper for the TRD Pro. We'll just have to see. But if you think this needs a custom rear bumper, comment below and let us know for sure. Now we have the TRD Pro side steps. We also have traditional side steps and a scout trailer hitch. We're going to put the TRD Pro side steps on. And we got this beautiful front bumper. This just looks incredible. I'm absolutely amazed with this. You get the little hook and shackle and everything. Uh, light bar. This it just looks really, really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and equip that. And 
Iceberg is a genius. Um, you can tell the rest of the textures on the truck have like a clean and dirty scheme to them. Uh, this is the same situation with the rim. You can have a clean rim or dirty rim. So we're going to pick the clean rim because, well, that's what I like the most right now. Um, all the paint schemes are just brilliant as well. I think what we're probably going to have to do, should we go with the olive army green? Should we go down and use the black? I think we're going to use a black paint scheme. We're going to pull this bad boy out though. Take another look and see what it can do in the latest update, guys. And another massive update that's happened, guys. Uh, since the last video, so we got all the gauges in. Um, Iceberg actually had to custom make these gauges. There was no resources uh, for that. And we also have noticed the uh, front camera is working a lot better now as well. So I don't know how many of you have seen or driven a uh, Tacoma TRD Pro in real life, but they have what is considered the crawler mode. And now it's a drive mode, unfortunately. Um, we don't have that option here in SnowRunner to add drive modes per se, but with this uh, TRD Pro fine-tuned crawler gearbox, we do have the extended range low gear, which will be super useful in navigating a lot of the off-road areas that we're gonna have to go into. Ah, man, I, I actually am so amazed at this front camera, guys. I really am. And I, I find this uh, this Tacoma just looks like, it really looks flawless. It's very impressive how well detailed it is. And the one thing that I think stands out to me the most about the Tacoma right now is a lot of trucks in SnowRunner, especially mods, they're, they're super glossy. Some of them have a cartoony look. Um, this looks just ultra realistic. This is exactly what you would see in real life. It resembles that quite a bit. Um, and not only does it look the part, but it's not OP. It's extremely balanced, and that's something that Iceberg has mentioned was very important to him, and every mod he does, make sure it's balanced, not OP, not underpowered. Has to be kind of what it's made to do. Has to be capable to do what it's made to do. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're going to put it in a low gearbox and check out this uh, crawler gearbox, because some of this mud is actually pretty deep, and I want to see how it performs. I've been really amazed with it so far. We do have the trailer hitch and everything on too, so we're able to haul the odd thing. And once uh, once this gets released, everything's going good. Oh, that is incredible. Look at how it's handling through this mud. That is absolutely incredible. I am at a loss for words right here, guys. This was the exact mud I was I was worried about. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was nervous. I was like, alright, here's another video that I spend ten minutes trying to winch and probably not get where I need to go. But this crawler setup, it actually just crawls perfectly. That is incredible. Now this is a lot deeper. This might be where we're where we yeah, I think we're buried out. We're uh, bottomed out completely here. I don't know if there's anything we can do about this. Now, this would probably, if anything, just be a suspension thing. Because we are, we are bottomed out. We can only plow through so much, realistically. So this is some heavy league stuff. Let's go ahead and bring up the garage. What suspension do I have on here? I have the crawler suspension. Yeah, I'll put the I'll put the crawler suspension back on. Alright, let's get rid of the garage. Alright, we're gonna have to winch ourselves out of here. This was uh yeah, this this is a little too deep. But I mean that's understandable. I think Deep, deep mud like that, you wouldn't go through in a small pickup like this. I think, if anything, you would uh, probably only go through that in like a full size pickup. Maybe not even that. Like, I don't know, I'm thinking heavy equipment, to be honest with you. With the cats. 
If you have the right setup on the cats, that would be a cool thing to go through. Let's uh, fast forward in the night here. Check out these gauges and check out the lights and all that other great stuff. Um, so the gauges light up just brilliantly. They really, really show here. And as you can tell, the lights aren't too overpowering. It's kind of what you would expect. Um, one thing Iceberg pointed out that's just really brilliant is that a lot of the LEDs you can individually see. It's a little dark, but if you zoom in, the detail on these LEDs, just absolutely incredible, guys. Um, I can't even praise Iceberg enough on this one. It's crazy to think how far this mod has come from where it started and where it is now. And getting a first-hand look at all the work that goes into them when they're properly done... Um, I hope you guys realize the time and the hours that go into these mods. Uh, I, and I know that it goes without saying, but I don't think SnowRunner would be the game that it is today without mod developers like Iceberg bringing a variety of mods to us to use for our enjoyment, not just their own. A lot of mod developers could be like, oh no, I'm not releasing that, that's just for me. That's just for me and my friends. But uh, it's pretty noticeable that the community comes together to make these things possible. And it's really amazing seeing the suspension play here. Such a fun little truck. I might be stuck here for a second. There we go. little damage never hurt nobody. Alright, we're going to put it in automatic or we'll put it in high gear for this one. And again, this, uh, look at that suspension play in the rear. That is just incredible. The one thing I really noticed with this Tacoma is, again, it's just such a fun, playful little truck. Like, it's, it's so balanced. It's not something you feel like super OP and it's something you can enjoy trailing in and, and all the above. Now we're going to take it through the little rut, do the usual, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely excited. I don't even know how to word it, but we're getting close, we're getting close. And by the time I'm done recording this, we're going to be, I'm going to be putting in the work to try to make sure the rest gets finished, it needs to get finished, like the XML stuff that I need to do my part on, but it is just turning out absolutely awesome so far. And uh, this is the first time I think we might be stuck in this rut. I like sandwich myself in there so I was lodged up in the front and the rear. I might be crawling out slowly now. We are in crawler mode after all. I don't think I, I don't know if this is gonna get out guys I don't know if this this time we're getting out of this we'll give it a little winch let's see Just a little more winch. There we go. Crawler mode activated, huh? Oh, that is incredible, guys. Alright, let's hit this trail here.
I love the detail on the tires too. That's one thing I've loved about this Tacoma since day one. And the detail that shows for dirt and everything, that's, I don't even, I can't find words for it all. The snorkel also works flawlessly too, and I think this snorkel blends in so well with this truck. We just got hung up on some trees there. Should be able to crawl out of this. There we go. We did it, guys. We made it out. All right. This is where we're going to call it, though, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to do another video later this week. And it's going to drop hours before the release. When that drops, you know that it's on the way. And I'm super excited for it. But make sure you drop a like on the video and drop a sub on the channel, guys. We'll, we'll catch you soon.